I was wondering if excess CLP that has worked its way out of a firing pin or striker mechanism onto a primer could cause the primer to fail. For my experiment, I chose three popular CLPs, Ballistol, Break Free, and WD-40. I used 38 special cases with small pistol primers. No gunpowder or bullet was used. I sprayed each CLP onto the tops of two cases. I used cardboard to keep from overspraying. Here you can see I applied a liberal amount of CLP. This would definitely represent a worst case scenario. I let the cases soak for 24 hours. Here's what the cases look like after soaking. I used a center punch and a hammer to stand in for the firing pin. Let's see that again in slow motion. The WD-40 coated primer would not fire. Here's a close-up of the inside of the primer. I installed a new primer and repeated the test. Now I let the coated primer soak for a week. Here's what each case looked like after soaking for a week. Let's see another slow-mo. This time the break-free coated primer would not fire. Here's a close-up of the failed primer. The WD-40 primer took two hits to fire. I repeated the break-free uh, one-week soak. Again, the primer would not fire. Here's a close-up of the inside of the primer. Based on my experiments, it would be good practice not to get excess CLP on your primers. This would be especially true for our firearm being carried or stored loaded. Thanks for watching.